so in this session we are going to look at how we can set up the environment so first you can search anaconda download and uh, once you search that it will navigate to this url and here you can see you can get the individual edition right uh, and here you get the download option so here is fully open source and we have the packages so right now it support over 7500 packages also we can add third party packages as well and there's option to manage the environment as well so as I showed you earlier, we have the support for these packages by default and also we can do machine learning, deep learning also using this package. And this is the user interface it looks like. So it comes with these uh, tools. Uh, so we have this GUI packages where we can use to develop uh, both Python and R. So in this course, we target mostly toward Python language and how we can use the machine learning package. So you can click the download here, right? And you can select the distribution i recommend to download 64 bit version because it's much more faster so here you have option to download for either linux mac or windows also i recommend to download the latest version uh, because latest version gives you latest features and also up to date uh, things when it comes to machine learning and data science so if you are windows user you can download this which is 64 bit installer if you are Mac user, you can download this, or if you are Linux user, you can download this. So once you download this, it will go through the installation and it will install the packages. So once you install, you will come to this kind of environment, right? And also here we have these uh, packages, that means these GUI tools are installed. So one of the main tools we are going to use the Jupyter Notebook. And other main tool is the uh, Spider software, right? So first thing is you can click the once you install everything you can uh, click the launch button then it will launch this kind of a environment which is you can create a spider software right so this is a spider software right uh, so here what you can do is you can create a new environment right and you can create a new file so here uh, I have some sample projects here right so once you create a new file uh, you get the empty environment and project right so always you need to remember what kind of project environment you are going to work on right based on that what you can do is you can uh, select the environment and then you can work on that so here i create the empty one so you can uh, easily create file new and you can get this kind of uh, empty one uh, like earlier right uh, so once you get the empty one, what you can do is uh, you can start implementing uh, some code, right? Uh, so once you get the empty one, uh, it looks like this, right? Uh, then here you have this console environment, right? Where we get the output window and we have the variable explorer, file explorer and a help, right? So in the next session, I will highlight more things uh, in here, right? So at the same time, I will launch the Jupyter Notebook as well in order to demonstrate that software so these are the two softwares that we can use uh, in this environment right uh, where we can use uh, to develop our data science packages right and there are goods and bads while using these two uh, packages right so let uh, i will highlight these things uh, throughout the course but at this step your main goal is to install the uh, anaconda environment correctly and also uh, check make sure whether you have a working spider and a jupyter notebook right so here you can see we have a workspace environment we can create a dot py which is a python file right which is a python file that we can use to create this environment so we can we need to first make sure whether uh, these things works once these things works we can start working in our application uh, in the data science tools right uh, so that is the first thing you need to show so i will just uh, load a sample one and demonstrate uh, some of the ways that we can uh, do some uh, coding right uh, so these are some sample codes that uh, i used in uh, previous projects right uh, so here you can see uh, we have things like for machine learning we can use for uh, tensorflow right so several several pro uh, purposes we can use right uh, so the one thing uh, what we can do is I will just uh, ex uh, so we are doing these things later but here I want to uh, show you uh, that we can use this and we can uh, run this application correctly right so I will just use run right so you can see what are the things that is happen right 
so that the moment you don't need to go through code because later I will discuss all this code step by step but right now I just want to highlight the software spider and what we have did right so normally if you want to get output we need to use the print command and here we are going to print out and see what are the data so when you we can execute this command like this and here you can see the output in the console so additionally this software give another benefits which is called a variable explorer so you can double click this and see what are the content in this data structure visually so that is another benefits compared to the next software i'm going to highlight which is the jupyter notebook right so let's look at jupyter notebook environment which is this one so here what we can do is we can create a new uh, file right so we have this option to create a new file so here i will create a python file right so the python file you can uh, create like this so here i can name this file right uh, let's say uh, create something like hello right so i create something like this python file right so you can see jupyter notebook running in the cloud or the browser so we have a url here localhost slash notebook slash hello dot ipynb so ipynb is literally a python file wrapped around a jupyter notebook and here the execution is a bit different and there are some goods and bads uh, when you compare in the code so one thing is you can use this cell environment to write the code and you can use this plus button to create multiple cells right and you can execute cell by cell but in the previous software in the spider you need to execute everything at once you don't get the option to select as cells so let me copy the previous code here right uh, so here i can uh, set something like this right uh, so let me run this right so you can see the similar output and also if i do this right uh, and if i put s here then you can see it's the same output so you don't need to uh, type print here you get the same output like earlier and also you can uh, separate these by uh, tap special uh, these cells as well so for example you can do something like that uh, so it's really good for code separation right so here the importing part and here the coding part right so likewise you can do the separation here and also we have option to run cell run all likewise we have option to run these things right so this is called a jupyter notebook file and uh, this is give the same output but here we have option to do the separation right so for example we can execute this uh, this cell individually from this cell but here uh, we don't have that option so you can see here we don't get that option to select either this part and this part so if you run this button everything runs together but here you get the option to select only to this to execute or this to execute so based on several uh, requirement you get the goods and bads of this uh, when it comes to visualization and uh, the, if you have a large code base that we want to isolate is this is a really good option that you can go through right and also we have option to download this as a python file even pdf file as well so pdf is uh, not supported in the local but if you are running this in the cloud version uh, we get the pdf as well but you can easily download a python file and html file as well uh, which is can be open again here in the spider so this supports only python py but not ipynb right but this is literally a python file wrapped around this format right so in this section the main uh, goal is to set up the environment right so everything that we can do is first thing is you need to download the software properly it is completely free software you can download it install it and once you install it you can launch a spider or a notebook and see whether this code works right so no need to go in depth in this code i will explain this code in next section which is our numpy version uh, we are going to discuss more in depth uh, each line by line these code sections but here i just want to highlight about these two two, two softwares uh, in the data science field the jupyter notebook and the spider is the most used softwares uh, the when you come to spider you can see this variable explorer so this is a unique feature so if you have a complex data type you can just double click here right double click here and then you can get the details like this so you don't get that here in the 
Jupyter Notebook uh, unless you type in the code, right? So for to get this, we didn't type anything. It's just part of this too. So sometimes you can use these both tools side by side just to make sure that you get both benefits in all the tools.